Hello, my name is William. Uh, this is Chicken Wired, and today we are going to make an elephant. And this is for Sue to help her out. So here we go. Okay, this is just an overshot of all the different pieces. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring all the pieces out, put them together first, and then we'll attach the whole lot together. Okay, we're going to start off with the back legs. Here are the back legs in front of me. First thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to trim off the threads on one side here. So one, two, three, four, five, six threads. We're going to get rid of those. Just chop them off. And the reason we're doing this is because we only really want the threads on one side because we're going to attach these threads here over to this side here. And then these four here are going to match up with our body shape. Now, let me just bring this down and bring in the body shape. There's our main body shape. You'll probably recognize this end of it. This is the back side of it. Okay, now, what we're going to do is we're going to attach up these two together. So these two are going to come together. And then the two here, one, two, are gonna match up with those two there. And then these three, one, two, three, are going to match up one, two, three holes along the side there. Okay, and then all these except the last two. So if I just turn these two over here and turn these two over here. Oops. Okay, these are going to be attached along the edging of the leg here. Okay, so that's just a quick idea of what we've got planned. Let's move that out of the way. We've chopped those off, so we're just going to pick up the two legs and attach those first. Okay. You can see how they match up there. So, one. There we go. So we've got the first part done. Basically, that's that back side. So, we're going to open the legs up. Now then. So it's opened up, just like that. Before I shape anything at all, what we're going to do is fold in the two back legs. So the side along here will attach to the side along here, and the side along here will attach on here. Okay. So they're both folding inwards. There's one. Bottom one. Top one. Okay. And then again, fold it inwards. From the bottom one up to the top one and we'll quickly get the rest done okay so we've got them both attached up now I'm just going to bring them out give them a little bit of shape only needs to be rough as there'll be plenty more to do one that one needs a bit more of a squeeze a little bit of a pinch there we go. And it comes again. There we go. Okay, okay. Now, this is the back side. We're going to give that a bit of shape. So we're just going to pull it out. And then, as you remember, we've got these two here. So we're just going to untwist those. So you can see we've got the four along there. Okay. And as we show, the body comes in. However, I'm going to put that to one side because oh, I'm going to bring that back. Because what I've got in the instructions, it uh, tells you to put the bottom of the feet on. But I'm just going to come to that at the end because there's plenty more to do and it's not always necessary. So, put those to one side. Okay, now we've got our body piece. We've got the two folded flat like that, which is uh, another piece that we shall come to. The rest of it, all we're going to do is attach from this one all the way along to this one. And we're going to attach them to the other side to give it a bit of shape before attaching it onto the main body. So let's fold it over, just fold it like it's a piece of paper. And again, twist and attach. And we'll go quick on this one. Okay. Again, just open it up, 
to give the piece a bit more shape. There we go. Okay. So, I'm bringing this one as well. What we're going to do is we're going to attach all these along here and the other side, along the top, along the side, and then let's bring this up. Line here. Okay. As far as we can do, we're going to attach on here. Okay. We're not going to worry about those, just down to that one there. And to be honest, it's wherever feels convenient. The thing to do though, is to attach each of these threads to the edge. Okay, don't wrap them up too far because we want to give the leg a bit more of a thickness to bring it out and make it a bit more elephant leg-like. So here we go. I will bring it over. And to start off, we've got those two pieces. And again, I'm just going to fold those two flat. One, two. And then I can get the central two. You see the line of the join? Straight on top. Okay. First ones are always the trickiest one because you're attaching them together. Once you're all done, one connection is held in place and it becomes a lot easier. So we can move on to that one. There. Now what I'm going to do, you remember the one, two, three along here, so I'm going to bring it round and I'm just going to put my finger through the hole and I'm matching up one and I'm going to connect that one there. Then I'm going to follow down the leg to when the, again, it feels right. It feels, yeah, that sounds about right. That feels about right. I'm going to go that one there again yeah so we got one on that one those two can go there one one in there I think that looks good to me so again I'm holding it a little bit awkward got my pliers I'm just gonna grab that over the top round it goes and then I'm gonna work my way along keep the legs out these two It'll work all the way round and then back down the other side but again we'll do that quickly
Okay, so we've got it all connected up. It's not looking quite right at the moment, a little bit flat and square, but we can shape it up. We don't need to do much. Again, just work along the line of the join. We can play around that to our heart's content. But there's no rush because I've got plenty more to do and you're better off just waiting towards when you finish to do the final shaping. So again, I'm going to put that to one side and I'm going to just grab quickly one piece to here. Oops. And to here, just to start us off for a bit further. Okay, what we've got here is the elephant's trunk. And all we're going to do for the moment is connect these five here. One, two, three, four, five, to create the bottom part of the trunk. So, fold it over. Almost like it's a piece of paper. Around it goes. And speed up to the end. Okay. Then we can just open it up. And again, we can play around with the shape for as long as we like. What's going to happen is we're going to come around, start creating the oops, elephant's head. Going on to the front legs. So we've got our front legs, okay. And I'm going to position them like that, okay. So what we're going to do, we've got the long length along the side. Those are going to be folded over. Okay, and then we're going to attach all the way along from this one here up to the top one here. Okay, but what I want you to notice is as we open them out, the join line that we're going to fix up is on going to be at the front. Okay, but we want these legs handed. So if you see the inside where there are threads, that wants to be on the inside. So first one folded like that. The second one is folded over. So let's see if this is right. There we go. So again, I'll just do a couple of attachments and this way we can see that both the legs have got the threads on the inside. That's where the chest piece is going to go. I shall quickly do the legs and then you'll be able to see more clearly. Okay, those are the two. Um, let's see we go. The two legs are done. So just give them a quick shake, just to start us off, so we've got an idea of how they look. Okay, let's fold these pieces out like that. Again with this one here. Oops. There we go. Okay. Right, so there we have the two front legs. Okay. We're going to then use the chest piece, which is this piece here. So, this part here gets attached to the corner, and what that's going to do is create the lip, the uh, underside of the mouth, so to speak. And then, going down here, the one, two, three, four, match up with the one, two, three, four on each leg. Okay, so let's get that done. Mm -hmm. So what I'm gonna do, hold it in place, and it comes. First one, always the trickiest, because they're not connected together. Once the first one's done, not so difficult. Okay, so this is going to come underneath, and that's going to be attaching onto the body. This is, if you'd like, the chest of the elephant. I know it's tricky, but that's the first half. That's the top of it all. Right, let me put that to one side. I've just got these two pieces here, which we might as well get done whilst I'm sitting here. And these are the tusks. And all we do with the tusks is we're going to fold those over to that side and attach 
And these ones will just kind of fold in together. You don't want too much of a point. So, over it comes. Okay, we've got our two tusks, we can put those to one side and worry about those in a little while. Okay, next piece is to do. We've got our main body with our back legs attached. We've got our front legs with the chest piece attached. Okay, so now they need to go on. What I'm going to do first off is the bottom two here, I'm just going to bend them over on either side. And the idea is on each side of the leg we have the outside edge of the front legs and along here is going to be attached to the threads along here and the top one is just here. You just place it across. So I'll try and zoom in on that so it makes it a little bit clearer. Let's get these all lined up nicely. So there we go. Okay again it's a master class so we're going to make these things happen. I'm going to start with the one down at the bottom, let's get that one round, and I'm going to go up to the one at the top, this one here. Okay, and this one here will just be wrapped around. Again, who knows how clear this is going to be for you, but I hope you can see what I've got in mind there. And then of course, other side gets attached on to other side. So, let's get on with that and we'll speed it up. Now then, I'm just going to oops, these are the front legs I'm pulling apart here. I hope you can see that's all right. So, we have the line of the joint of the body. Okay, it's not going to be easy to see because we're getting quite into the getting further on to the sculpture, but the line of the body underneath, okay, comes up and then you have the bottom of the chest piece with one thread on either side and they simply get wrapped round to connect the bottom of the chest piece to the underside of the body. And then we can just do those two there. Okay, bring, bring the legs back out. A little bit of shaping. <laughs> yeah, you see, bit by bit, we are getting there. I know the legs look long, but the toes are pointing downwards at the moment, and there's a bit of shaping to do, and elephants have surprisingly long legs. So, there we go, there we go. Chest, front legs, back legs, body, we're all good so far. Next bit, I'm going to go on to the face pieces. Okay, so the face pieces are positioned so that the line, the diagonal line, is at the front of the elephant's body. Okay, now in the instructions, the two points here are marked. We're going to just flatten those over, and that is where our tusks are going to be. Okay, so what we want to do is just position these around the head, so you're going to attach, and again, in true masterclass style, find your way along. Okay, so I'm just placing it along like that. I'm saying to myself, that looks good. I've also got a space here where there are no threads matching up with where the threads have been flattened, so that we've got a nice hole ready for the tusks. So that one there, round it goes. Okay, so you can see this okay. The bottom hole or the bottom thread of the face is into the second hole along. Okay, second hole along, there we go. The rest of it, we'll just make it happen and work our way around. You can see, oops, there's our mouth. Slide the head, and what we've got here, we can open up a little hole, and then when we are ready, our tusks.
tusk piece with the threads on the end of the tusk will be wrapped around. Oh, in it goes. We shall come to that in a moment. Onto the other side of the head. I'll be with you in a moment. Okay, let's see if we can show these off to you as well. On the top of the body. Okay, we've got three threads which are there. One, two, three, side of the heads. Uh, should be able to see a little bit there. So side of the head, underside of the mouth. Probably turn those in just to make it look a little more mouth shaped. Okay, now then, on to the next part. And here's the trunk. And if you remember earlier on, I just did the first five threads at the bottom part of the trunk. Then we have all of these threads all the way up. Okie dokie. Now, we have our three at the top here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna fold these three over and they will match up with the three at the top of the body. So our three at the top of the body, and then we have these four threads at the top of the head pieces coming round. So it's going to literally go on and then fold round and down. Attach those three, attach the four threads at the top of the head, and then we'll attach it going all the way down. Okay, let me attach this up and we'll get the head on. Remember, once the first attachment is made, it becomes a lot easier because there's a lot of wire going on here and I'm trying to get it next to the camera so you can see what I'm doing. Okay, there's the one in the middle, so that's attached. So, and then we can use all of the threads here and the threads at the top of the piece here on either side to attach our elephant's head. Okay, let's get this done. Okay, well, I think that's basically it. So, we've got, our, we've got our elephant. It's beginning to look a little bit rough and ready, but that's all right. It's all about the shaping. I describe chicken wire as cut, connect, create. So we've done a lot of cutting, we've done a lot of connecting. The creating is simply playing around with the shapes, okay? Trying to get it as lifelike as possible, as elephant-like as possible, playing around. Okay, still got these two holes here, so easy. One on either side. So, here's our first hole. We'll get our tusk, and we shall Get the four threads, one, two, three, four, and put those equidistant or around that hole. Again, the first one is a tricky one because it's not attached. So hold the tusk and the elephant with your finger and thumb. Get the 
first thread round. And when you're happy, you can let go, turn it round, and do the others. Okay. We're getting closer and closer. Closer and closer, bit by bit. It's a masterclass. It takes its time. All right, what are we on to next? We might as well go for these two pieces here. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, yes, sure. So, we look at them. Four on one side, three here, and then you step in for one. We are going to use these three, these three, to attach the ear to the elephant. For the other threads, we're going to fold over so they just look that little bit neater. Give it a bit more shape to the ear, try and make it a bit more rounded. You can do all of them going up, all of them going down. I'm done. Two up, two down. I'm giving the little corners a little squeeze. Because if you give the little corners a little squeeze, it kind of just softens the line that little bit. Now where the ears are placed, well, clearly either side of the head. The exact placing, well, we can leave it to you. The way to do it though, I have this bit towards the bottom. So use those three, come over to the head, round about there. Uh, yeah, I'd say about there. Why not? Why not? Yeah. So the elephant has got his. We shall have a closer look at the elephant when I've finished off. But well, we're going to begin, beginning to get there. Now then, last pieces. I have actually noticed on the template, if I may dig it out. Am I looking? Give me a moment here. Da, 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 da. Yes, this is the elephant's backside. But looking through, I'm not sure whether I've actually included how to put it on which is very remiss of me, so thank goodness I'm doing this video because I can add it. To be honest, it is a bit of a uh, optional extra because what you have, you can just see between the legs. Oh, excuse me, Dumbo. There's a gap here. There's a gap here. You don't actually need to fill it once it's standing up or once you're covering it or whatever you're doing with it. It's not going to be noticed. But if you want to be precise, then the four threads match up with the two which are folded over on this side and then this simply folds around so that these three attach on one two three there so let's get that on again awkward until you get your first one on and then it's held in place and life becomes a lot easier Okay, now my elephant has a backside. Ready ho. Okay, a couple of things left to do, and then we should zoom out so we can get a better look at it all. This is our tail. What we want to do with this is Constantina it. I think that's the right word. And basically, we're just squashing it all in so it looks good and fat. So starting at the top, one, two, three will be attached to the back side. And then we're just gonna squash these in as we go down. Okay, you can see how it's, it's almost like a fan-like shape and being squashed down. So at the bottom, we've got quite a nice thick mass. Similar to an elephant's tail, okay. Now, on the tail's backside, 
We go for the line of the join between the two back legs and then just above that, attach your tail on. What I've done is just gone a little bit further up. I'm going to come round and we'll do the three threads at the top. Okay. Now got our tail in position. Bum, bum. Marvellous stuff. Which leaves four pieces left. Our feet. Okay. Knees at the bottom of the feet. Oops, you can't see those, I'll just lay them out of your way. There we are, the four pieces. The underside of the foot. Now, the reason I've left this to the end is you have a choice. What you could do to make life simple is to simply fold flat the threads at the bottom of the feet. If they're a little bit short, use your pliers so you don't hurt your fingers. Okay, so there you can see what I've done. In comparison to the others, I've just made it a flat base and that, place, that flat base will be fine. So there'll be no problem there. If you want to go all the way and do the whole thing and get to the base of the feet on there as well, then I'm going to bring those out again because I will be using them. But the threads on the foot, I'm going to fold flat. One, two, three, four, five. These are just going to be turned over because we will be using the threads at the end of the elephant's legs to attach them. There we go. Okay. Now then. What you want to do is pretty much centralise the toes. Okay. And what I tend to aim for is that the three toes, or the three holes of the piece, are like the three toes of the elephant's foot, and so we just want them pointing forward. Forward and a little bit outwards, okay? So that, and so that it doesn't look like it's bow legged, really. So easiest way to do it is to think about where you're positioning it, and this will be an awkward bit to show you, but there's the bottom of our foot. We're all good with that. That's it, pointing forwards. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Am I right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okie dokie. So we're going to take those two at the back. And we're going to attach those two first. There we go. And that way we know which way the feet are put, pointing in. And then what we can do is simply attach all the rest of the threads equidistance around the rest of the foot. So let me get that one done quickly.
bottom, just like that. I shall now just finish off the last of the other feet. So bear with me a moment.
Okay, so the feet are done, all the rest is done. So what I'm gonna do is just zoom out so we can have a little play around. Okay, here's the finished elephant. Had a little bit of playing around with the shape. A bit tricky to make out the ears, but in real life you'll be able to see it a lot clearer. Okay. But just been playing around with the shape, seeing what sort of thing we can come up with. And there we have it. That's the chicken wire elephant sculpture. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. Please like, share, subscribe, the usual things. The next video would probably be covering this with mod rock so that we can get a solid sculpture which can then be painted. Okay, take care. Bye bye now.